Hey everyone, this is gonna be a really short video, but you've probably seen my favorite plant, which is my Echeveria, it's Trumpet Pinky. And today I finally separated her into three. And one of the reasons I did was I didn't like how the trunk was looking. I was a little scared it could have rot. So I cut everything above that area. So now I have these and none of them have roots and I've let them dry a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is dip it in a little bit of rooting powder and put them in dry dirt and hope that they root. So please wish me luck. And also this was a Dick's Pink that was a pup that grew off a beheading quite a while back. I have a video on it. It's got a few roots right here, as you can see, but I'm gonna do the same with her. I did cut this little spot where I cut her off the main stem and I'm gonna repot her. And I just want to show you real quick. And one other thing I really thought you guys might be interested in is I have a friend in the greenhouse. I've named her Dreamweaver 2. She is an orb spider. And I know this sounds a little disturbing, but she is eating a hummingbird right now. And I think that's very sad, but I couldn't help it. She had it when I got home and I love this spider. I love hummingbirds, so I feel really bad about what happened, but she's been living in here now for about a week, and I took care of one last year that lived right outside the greenhouse, so I wanted to show her to you. So anyway, what I'm going to do is pot these guys up real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip each one in a rooting powder, and then I'm going to put them in dry dirt. They're probably mostly dry, but Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do dry dirt just in case. Then what I'll do is I'll set them somewhere where they're out of direct sunlight and I'll probably wait a week or so and then add a little bit of water and I'll show you my progress later on. Okay, well, I thought I would just go ahead and show you what I'm doing since I'm already out here, but this is what I'm using, this take root rooting hormone. And you don't have to use that at all. In fact, most of the time I don't, but these are my beloved babies and I'm so worried about them. So I'm just gonna tap them in here like this. And this one leaf keeps trying to fall off, but I'm just gonna nuzzle them in like that. That's all I'm doing. So I'm gonna do this with each one of them. Just tap them in there. I'm gonna make sure that all the open areas kind of got exposed. And then my third one, I really did want to separate this anyway, but I was kind of forced to at this point. So all I'm gonna do is just barely lay them in there. This one may be a little bit harder because the wound is right here. So try to get it on there. There we go. And then I wanna make sure that whole stem kind of gets into the dirt so here's what we've got you guys and like I said I'm gonna put them out of direct sunlight and I'm gonna wait about a week and what I'll probably do is I'll pick them up look at the bottom and if I see any new root growth then I will start watering but I wanted to show you guys that and wish me luck hey everyone I thought that was gonna be the end of my video but I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about this since um, this was an issue I was having. I always use this stuff, this miracle Grow cactus um, soil, and I usually mix it with perlite and pea gravel and chicken grit, as you see here. And I'm not really had an issue, but the other day I opened this up and I don't have a great picture now, but it looked like fungus and mold and stuff in there. So it didn't look great. I know you guys, there's fungus gnats and it's really gross and I'm really disappointed and I also didn't really like this as much as I used to here recently because every time I've gotten a little bag it's been full of bark so I think I'm about done with this and what I got today was this stuff so I'm gonna try it I've heard some recommendations about it now I know this is a company that usually sells stuff for hydroponic growing which we used to do quite a while back and so I'm just gonna try it and of course using this by itself would not be good it would hold way too much water so I'm still gonna mix it with my perlite and chicken grit and other things 
but I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of it. And I'll do an update video on not only what I think of this soil with my additives, but also what happens with the Trumpet Pinky and Dick's Pink. And I just went and checked it. So I did that probably three or four days ago. I just went and checked them. There's no roots yet, except for the little one that was already on the Dick's Pink. But I'm gonna wait about a week. It hasn't been a week yet. And then I'm gonna give you guys an update in a video. And if you guys will, just remind me in a video to give you an update. If you give me a comment, that'll let me know. But of course, if I'm successful, I will do a video and tell you guys all about it. I'm sorry, I can't stop pulling dry leaves off. And, oh, and I have one more thing I wanna show you. So, I totally forgot. So this is a new product that someone recommended that I try. This is a fungicide and I've had an issue with fungus in the past and I did okay and I have a video on that, but I found some new plants that may not have gotten as good of airflow as I'd like. And so I'm gonna try this stuff. So it's really concentrated. You mix it with, you mix it with uh, water and it's pretty concentrated. I'm not sure the amount, but it'll say here in the, the thing, so. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna put it in a spray bottle tonight. I'm only gonna try it on three plants and see how it does. So this is an Echeveria Blueprints and of course it looks okay on the top, but oh, finally the fan went off in the greenhouse. But do you see this right here? Sorry about the focus, you guys, I'm trying my best. So there's all these black spots. The trunk is not rotted. You know, I always feel to see if, see if there's rot going on. It's hard, it's it's not soft, so it's just that there's, in, in all these crevices here, there's all this black stuff. I don't know if it's black mold, gray mold, city mold, something else. It's just on all these edges and it's not pretty. It's not as pretty as it used to be, so I'm gonna try it on this. I kind of forgot what this was because I've had it for so long, but this one had some issues before and I don't think I did this one in the video, although I did treat it back then with neem oil and it just didn't respond, but this has got that same stuff. So it's just, I don't know, the plant is doing fine. It, it doesn't show any signs of dying and the new growth looks pretty good. You know, the new growth looks better. And I don't know if those old leaves will ever recover, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And then if you look underneath, let's see if we can see some stuff. Um, it's not really, well, okay, under that one is kind of bad. If you pull this leaf off, see that? This doesn't look great. So I think it's a fungus of some sort. And then finally, this guy, I can't remember what it is. It's some sort of gibiflora and I chopped, chopped it off and I got babies from it and I can't remember what it is, but it also has this weird powdery, fungus, mildew stuff. And then if you look under here, you can see it really well. Ew, that was really gross. So, you know, but if you wiggle the leaves, they don't want to come off. So looks like you would pull this right off and, and the root uh, or the stem itself is really hard. So I don't know what the deal is. So I'm going to try this stuff. I'm only going to try it on these plants because I don't want to try it on everything. Sorry about the focus, you guys. I don't know what is going on with my camera right now. And there goes the fans again. But anyway, I'm gonna try this stuff and I'm gonna let you know what's going on after a few days. Maybe I'll notice, I don't know, it may take a week or so, but I'm gonna try it and I'll let you know what I find out. Thank you guys for watching and just to show you one more time, my good friend, she's still up here. I haven't seen her eat anything today. That's Dream Weaver too, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and comment and like my videos. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.